Want to create eye-catching mock-up reels for your paint party or crafting biz in just minutes? In this video, I'll show you how to use AI in Canva to make pro-level reels that promote sales. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is come over to canva.com and sign into your account. Once you are inside your account, you're going to click on create a design. Once you're inside create a design, you're going to click on Instagram Reel. This is the format we want when we want to create some type of real video. All right, so once inside, you'll see you'll have a blank canvas like this. So what we want to do is we want to bring in elements to create a picture. Um, so the first thing we want to do is um, we are going to create a reel for if you were selling paint party printables or if you were marketing a paint party or if you were um, doing promo for selling DIY paint kits. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to already have uploaded your painting that you want to promote. So first we're going to come over to element and we're going to type in, um, let's type in lady painting and art class. Now I already have it up here and we're going to click on photos. And we're just going to scroll through and as we're scrolling through we want to kind of look for images that are already in real format so something like this one here or here so we're going to use this one for now and if you don't want to use canva elements um, you know, feel free to grab my template pack with um, images that's already done for if you are promoting paint parties, selling DIY paint kits, um, paint party printable downloads. I already have a um, graphic pack that you can purchase and go ahead and pull into Canva in use. But for now, we're just going to use, but you know, you can also use Canva elements. All right. So we have our image here. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to put our painting underneath this. So we're going to click on the image. We're going to click edit because we want to be able to move her arm. So once we click edit, we're going to go over here to our magic studio and we're going to click magic grab. I do believe you do need a pro account to use this feature. But again, if you don't have um, Canva Pro, you know, feel free to grab my done for you uh, template pack that you can use. So we're going to grab, we want to grab all of her arm. We also want to grab all of the paintbrush because we want to make sure that our painting can go underneath it. All right. So we want to make sure we grab all of that. It'd be highlighted in purple. We're going to click grab. All right, so now once it's grabbed, now we're gonna come over to our uploads and now we wanna upload our actual painting. So I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna pick um, the painting I already have uploaded. I think I wanna use this balloon dog. So I'm gonna just pull it on in. And then once I have it in, I'm going to remove the background so I can easily fit it inside of this picture. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click BG Remover. All right. And then I'm going to adjust it to fit on this canvas. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Now, um, 
depending on what template you're using, you might not necessarily have to remove the background. I'm just removing the background for this particular design. All right, and then I'm gonna click position and I'm gonna move it backward. So as you can see now, we have the image, the design, the painting behind her arm and paintbrush, okay? And that is all you need to do from here. So then you're gonna come over here to share and you're gonna click download And you want to download this as a PNG file. All right, now once we have that downloaded, we're gonna go over to a website called clingai.com. You wanna go ahead and create an account they do have different versions. They have free versions and paid versions. Um, and then if you use the free version, I believe it will have a watermark on the bottom that says Clang AI. Um, but you know, feel free to upgrade to a paid version. So once you're in here, you're gonna you're on your home dashboard, you're gonna come down and you're gonna click on AI videos. Okay. Once you're in here, you're gonna scroll down and it says click, drop and paste. So we're going to paste in that image we just created. Okay, now once we have our image in, Okay, here it says, you see it says start and end, hence and things like that. We're not gonna use any of that, but we do need to put in a prompt. So we're going to say, a woman painting her design. at a paint and sip party, okay? So basically, whatever you want the video to show is what you're going to put inside this prompt. Okay, and then after you do that, you don't need to click anything else, and then you're gonna click this generate button. Oh, wait, before you click the generate button, you should see this. So it has professional mode or standard mode. So we're gonna click standard mode. And then you can click how many seconds you want it to be. If you want it to be five seconds or 10 seconds, you can click that here. So let's just say, let's do 10 seconds. Okay, and that's gonna take 40 credits. We're gonna click generate. And then the queue will pop up, the generation queue, and it's gonna tell you how long you have to wait. And as you can see here, it says estimated wait time is one minute. All right, and then our image is ready. So let's go ahead and watch it. And as you can see, the image, the video is created with the lady painting. And then after your video is done, you're just gonna come here and you're gonna click download without watermark. So we're gonna go ahead and download that without the watermark. And we're going to go to Uploads. So now we're going to upload our video we just created. We come back over 
and then we're going to drag and drop our video in. And then we can go ahead and we can add text. So we can add a text box. And we can pick some type of text. So we can just scroll through here. And you can just pick one. Let's just say this one, and I can say something like DIY paint kits. Then I would change the color. Maybe change this to a different color that stand out. Maybe pink. Or, you know, whatever your brand colors are. Okay. That's this. And then you can even you can even animate this. So let's say click on animate. something like we can blur in pop in like this one breathe okay and then your reel is all set to go so let's play it and see how it looks And just like that, you've got a reel ready to go. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.